Hi, I'm Abby McInerney and I'm from Austin, Texas. For my copy house, I decided to read two poems that I wrote while sitting upon a large, large pile of snow at Pemmican Point. We are at the point for a humanities and marine science field trip. For the humanities portion, we visited the lighthouse and spent time writing in silence, observing the landscape around us. I was really inspired to write two pieces of poetry, so I'm going to share them with you. This is the first one. A sense of peace, a violent reaction, laughing and dancing across the shore. Many tornadoes spiral, never ceasing till they reach the sea. It is funny how small I feel, though I know I am far from it, comparing always to the elders of the forest and to the delicacy of the snowflakes. A sense of calm returns to the sea. The game of tag has ended, for now. The first poem was loosely based on watching the intense wind swirl the snow around in the air, creating many cyclones inadvertently. I was also noticing how small I was in comparison to the lighthouse, which was really tall. Um, so that was also in word in my poem. This is my second one. A storm seems to approach, inching its way deep into the heart of the sea. The beacon readies itself for the oncoming fight, standing tall like all those who came before it. Light versus dark, Good versus evil, nature versus man. Almost as if a warning, the sea starts to churn, though during it, every battle, it always seems to lose. Tired of being crushed up against rocks, tired of being swept up in the chaos, the third party never wins, never loses. Amongst the salty spray, a quiet silhouette emerges. The beacon and the storm share a silent realization. They have an audience. The second poem was based on a story I read years ago about the daughter of a lighthouse keeper, conveniently named Abigail, just like me, and her struggle to help keep the lighthouse going through a violent storm. I can remember sitting on the couch in my living room reading that book as my family was spread out around me, my dad and brother building some Lego tower while my mom was in the kitchen making something that I probably wouldn't eat. Um, the scene seems to transfer to my life here so easily. I now sit on my bunk reading a book as I watch Sophie and Bunny screaming at each other in a violent game of slapjack while I know that Gail is downstairs in the farmhouse cooking something that I'm positive I will not eat. <laughs> here I am, 2,085 miles away from home, yet at home just the same.